Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Chantal. This is My Basic Journey. I live and travel in my minivan with my dog Joey and in the last video I was updating you guys on Russ who was a dog that we ended up finding abandoned at a campground um, and it was in a very emotional few weeks with him. Originally I was at um, Elephant Butte Lake State Park in New Mexico. Um, that's where I gave you guys the last little update on Russ. And I was going to do an entire video dedicated to that place. Every single time that I drive through New Mexico, I tell myself that I'm going to stop at Elephant Butte, and I never had. I finally did, and it was absolutely beautiful. It's only $8 a night to primitive camp, and then you can stay anywhere along the lake that you want. They do offer electric sites for only $14 a night, and that also gets you a fire pit and a covered picnic table. Um, but we decided that we were going to, you know, rough it up and stay along the beach, and it was absolutely gorgeous. I wanted to make an entire video dedicated to this place, but we ended up having some issues with Joey. A few days before we landed at Elephant Butte, we were at a campsite at uh, the Maxwell Wildlife Refuge. And another place that was really cool, they had a bunch of birds that reminded me of the place that we went to in Arizona with all the cranes. Um, but Joey ended up eating something off of the ground and he threw it up that day, um, at least part of it anyways and it looked like cartilage maybe I'm not really sure exactly what it was but since he threw it up I kind of thought that he passed it because um, years ago I used to play with him with those tiny little tennis balls the little ones because they're small enough for him and then he ended up chewing it up and eating it like the entire thing and uh, so safe to say we don't give him those anymore but uh, that time he ended up throwing it up and then was completely fine the next day uh, this time however he did throw it up so I was like oh he'll be fine because he threw it up it's not gonna be stuck anywhere and uh, the next Next day he had diarrhea which you know his tummy was upset because of what he had eaten I mean that was totally understandable and then you know the next day after that he had a solid poop so I was like okay cool we're good however yesterday which would have been three days after he had eaten whatever it was off the ground um, we were still at Elephant Butte this is when I was gonna make that video but he just looked so bad he was super sick he kept throwing up he wouldn't eat anything it was just bile and like white foam um, every time he did try to poop, it was just liquid and mucusy. I know this is probably TMI for people who don't have dogs or children. Um, but yeah, he wouldn't eat and like he felt so sick that he wouldn't even give me kisses and it like broke my heart. It really scared me. So we left really early this morning and took him into urgent care. Um, just because I thought, you know, maybe whatever he had eaten, there was another part that was still stuck in him. Um, and so we got x-rays done and we did all of his blood work and they came up as inconclusive for the x-rays as far as like if there was anything actually stuck in him they were unable to fully say that yes there is something in there because he had um oh my gosh what is that called let me check his papers. Okay, so it says they were unable to fully rule out a GI obstruction. Um, there was areas of gas distension in the colon and small intestine. No obvious FB, which is like a foreign object in the thing. So they think that maybe it isn't something that's stuck in him. Um, so they did like a full blood panel just to see if they could figure out what's wrong with him. And he had elevated levels indicating that he had pancreatitis. Um, which is really sad and really scary because it can be fatal if it isn't treated. And so really they wanted me to hospitalize him. And we're talking like an upwards of like $10,000 in order to hospitalize him for the amount of time needed. Um, obviously I cannot afford that and so I had to do an at-home treatment plan. Um, so really all this means is that he can only eat a very small amount couple times a day it says one to two tablespoons it has to be very low fat they wanted me to give him um, 
chicken and rice. However, he's allergic to chicken, so we had to come up with a different plan, and they told me to just find a wet food that had a very low fat percentage, under 10%. Um, so we did find some canned food that he was able to eat, and he actually ate it, which made me so happy because I was really worried about that of him not eating. Um, it's one of the reasons why they hospitalize him is to monitor um, his intake of food and water because he wasn't eating. He did not eat at all yesterday. Um, not a single thing. I tried even giving him a piece of popcorn, which is his favorite, and he wouldn't even eat a piece of popcorn. Um, I was very scared. So I was very, very happy that he ate the food and um, he got some probiotics, antibiotics, and um, what is the other thing that they gave me? I can actually just look here. Serenia um, that I have to give him, which is only for two days. Um, the other things are for a week long, and then I just have to make sure that he only eats small quantities and very low fat, and you just have to monitor him and just make sure, like, that he is eating and pooping and not throwing everything up. Oh, that's what the Serenia was for. It's a uh, anti-nausea. Um, so hopefully he's doing okay because he did eat, which made me very happy. Um, he hasn't thrown it up yet. And that was a couple hours ago. So fingers crossed that he will keep it down and that we can, you know, get whatever is inside of him out. So that is what we've been doing. Um, and now I'm in Las Cruces, New Mexico. The campsite that I'm at is absolutely beautiful. I'm at the base of the Oregon Mountains. Not Oregon like the state, but Oregon like your body. Um, if you guys remember, uh, I can't believe it's been this long already, but almost two years ago, um, my first winter coming south, we went to um, Aguirre Springs, which is on the other side of these mountains that I'm on, which was an actual campground. It was only $7 a night. It was one of the most beautiful campgrounds that I've ever been to. Um, there's no electric or anything. And they even tell you if you have a trailer longer than I think it was like 24 feet, you can't do it because the road there is just too windy and curvy and you just won't be able to. But now we're on the other side of those mountains and it is just as beautiful. And you can see the city of Las Cruces on one side and then the mountains on the other and we're kind of just on this random little dirt road that they have makeshift little campsites at. Um, the road that we're on um, there's like a nice main paved road and then the road that <laughs> you have to go on to get these little campsites is really bad. And it even says, like, when I went on to iOverlander, because that's where I find all of my campsites, um, under the comments, they even say, like, after the first four, if you have low clearance, don't go past it. And so there's probably, I think there was, like, ten or so sites along this road, um, and I happened to get one of them within the first four, and it was not easy. Like, the dips in the road are crazy, but I was able to do it in my minivan, so I'm sure that, you know, if you have better clearance than a minivan, you'll be perfectly fine to do the entire thing and pick a different spot. But yeah, it was just, it's been crazy. It's been a very emotional few weeks, dog related. Um, I'm just happy that Joey's feeling a little bit better today. Um, like I said yesterday, he was very lethargic and you could tell he was just depressed and in pain and... It just broke my heart, but today he's like in better spirits and hopefully, fingers crossed, that he passes this quickly. So it's just been, it's been so crazy, but I'm happy to be here now and I'm happy to be in this beautiful area. I'll probably be in Las Cruces for like another like week or two, um, just hanging out here, enjoying. The weather is so nice here right now. It is like 65 during the day and then like 40 at night, which is like perfect. So I'm excited to be here. I know that these last couple of videos have been um, unorthodox for my channel, but we're back. We're back. Everything is going to be fine. Joey's going to be fine, hopefully, and we can go back to normal living.
All right, you guys, I just wanted to update you on everything that was going on and where I'm at and what's going on with Joey. And I'm just going to be monitoring him the next week or so while I'm here in Las Cruces in case he needs to go back to the vet. However, I think he's going to be doing just fine. He did already poop and it was like normal. And so that just makes me really happy and excited and feel like he's going to do just fine in that his elevated levels were probably just from what he ate and it probably just did not do well in his system and I think he's clearing it out just fine. So we'll be back to normal in our next video but thank you guys so much for watching this. If you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here definitely subscribe below. I'll also put a link for my Patreon in the description box in case you're interested in checking that out and helping support my channel. Otherwise I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!